Cardiovascular disease is one of the leading causes of mortality worldwide. Its chief underlying cause is atherosclerosis, a condition characterized by chronic inflammation of the arterial wall. The wall of an artery consists of three layers, the adventitia, the media, and the intima, where the early stages of atherosclerosis begin. At normal concentrations in the blood, LDL molecules can pass in and out of the intima. However, when in excess, these molecules can accumulate within the subendothelial cell layer where they become highly susceptible to oxidation. This results in the formation of oxidized LDL molecules which are toxic and consequently trigger an inflammatory response. Endothelial cells in the intima respond by increasing their expression of various leukocyte adhesion molecules, particularly VCAM1 on its cell surface. Local tissue also secretes several chemokines that directs monocytes to the site of inflammation. Monocytes adhere to VCAM1 and then migrate between the intact endothelial cells in order to penetrate into the tunica intima. Once resident in the intima, the monocytes acquire the characteristics of a tissue macrophage, which then engulf the trapped oxidized LDL molecules. This process gives rise to an arterial foam cell in which the macrophage becomes so packed with fatty droplets that they look foamy under a microscope. Circulating cytokines and growth factors may also promote the migration of vascular smooth muscle cells through the internal elastic lamina, where it forms a tough fibrous cap surrounding the atherosclerotic plaque. This plaque results in the narrowing of the vessel and can potentially rupture causing the release of tissue factors that may result in the formation of a blood clot. Once blood flow to the heart is reduced by stenosis or blocked by a thrombotic occlusion, this can result in a serious cardiovascular event.